Hi YouTube, Edward and Sarah Tyndall here, bringing to you a awesome, epic, extremely rare unboxing you've all been waiting for. I have not told what the species is, but I can assure you, I hope everything is alive and well. I've been waiting on this for months and months and months. Oh yeah, and for you hobbyists and spider hobbyists and everything, get you a uh, razor blade like this and heat it up. Put a hot glue stick on there. These work miracles for uh, working with your stuff. A tarantula shield, if you will. But yes, this is an extremely rare species. And as of this point right now, I do believe I am one of the only people in America to have this. Packing looks good. And I'll keep your fingers crossed, hopefully. Hopefully. I will be able to produce offspring off of these. And if so, it will be amazing. I don't know what stick show. I don't know what stick show means. These are heavy packages, though. This is a female. Hoping. Let's see what we have in here. Oh my God! <laughs> that is so beautiful. Kind of small in the in the container. See what it looks like outside of the container. I need some tweezers. Right behind you. Oh, I know it's killing you guys. I'm wondering what this is. It's the one that's going in this container here. I have all set up. I have it set up in a way where I'll be able to film the entire egg sack experience with you guys as well. If all goes well. She's not moving. It doesn't mean she's not alive, but she's not moving. It's not, never a good sign. She must be alive though, because that fingernail is hooked in there. Extremely docile species. Oh my god. Look people. I am very excited about this. Very excited about this. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. I'm going to go ahead and tell you all the name, in case anybody don't know. It is a Nephonopelma, Afnopelma, however you say it. But it's 100 times rarer than any other Afnopelma on the planet. Especially in the hobby. They just don't, do not exist in the hobby. This is a Nephonopelma lanceolatum. If you can see above the eye, I can see some hair right there. Not this thing, so they're giving it up, doing it just. This, I don't know how big they get. This is possibly a mature female. Possibly a mature female. Hopefully, grab it. If not, 
will be seen. I'm going to go ahead and transfer into our new enclosure. Kind of a huge enclosure for a little spider. I don't know what I was expecting how big it was. Come on, baby. You can see they are very extremely docile. Just came from a long shipment. Not really threat posturing or anything. I'm trying to get her off of that thing. Once she realizes what I'm doing or trying to do. There we go. She's in there. Alright, this is uh just see what she looks like in her natural her new natural habitat that I got set up for her. That quite possibly might be a mature female, a fauna pelmon, lanceolatum. There's a spelling of the name. Good luck finding any info on them. They're that rare. There is info out there, but not much. I think there's five words that was said about this species back in 1840 something. You can get out of this one. I'm just temporarily doing that. Um, that's number one. Now, for number two. This is a male. Well, I don't know. This one appears to be bigger than the other one. I gotta get my stuff straight here. I don't know. That little one I just showed you might be the male. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on here. Just uh, let me get this out of here and see what's going on. Y'all bear with me for a minute. You can see that abdomen on this one is a lot larger. This might be the gravid female actually, and that might be the male. If that's the case, I'm gonna have to transfer that one out of that. That's a juvenile, uh, ordered a juvenile male, and a possibly gravid female. And this, I believe, is the female. If that's the case, it's okay. It won't be hard to move him back. Yes, I would say. That looks more like the female. It's a little bit bigger. I'm guessing the female would be bigger. What do you think, baby? I don't know, baby. I don't know nothing about Absolutely, George. Nobody does. These are these are. This is the first time in America this spider has ever been here. Right here on Edward Tyndall YouTube. Yes. No, in America, this is the first time they've ever been to the United States ever. Right here. Look at that. I don't know if this is a dwarf species or a, a fauna pelma or if they're capable of breeding this small and they get bigger. I know other fauna pelma species get a lot bigger. So he, he might have just packaged the uh, spiders in whatever a stitchio male and female thing is because this one. Yes, this one looks a lot smaller than the other one. If I compare the two, to compare the two, as you can see, um, you want to hold this in there. Hold that real quick. I'm going to try to get this one back with a little trouble. very carefully you see these two what they look like extremely docile 
I would say this is the female and that's the male. Are you getting not on? You're not even on them. Are you seeing these? Yeah. The one on paper towel is the female. It has yes. to be. Yes, it does. Come over right, here. All right, we're going to film the uh, male being transferred in his, his enclosure. Again, retransferred. Right here. Here you go. This is your new enclosure, my friend. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Get close up on it. This is him and his new enclosure. Yeah, don't forget to leave in the comments what you think about this total awesomeness. And if I'm successful with it, I will have babies available. A, an extremely, a, a, an extreme amount of effort went into obtaining these. You have no idea. Make sure you're watching this. An extreme amount. Oh yeah, and here's my uh, leaf. I've got a leaf in here from from the uh, the planner. What's his channel called? I've been watching him. No life in it on his channel. What's his channel called? Uh, I don't know, baby. You guys, send us the seeds. I said it in my previous video. This is extremely. Planting at, freedom. Yeah, planting freedom on YouTube. Look at this real quick. There's some hair kicked off of this abdomen. You see that? Mm -hmm. And it does not look like it's in pre-mold at all. It's very quite possible this is a gravid female. It's just a small species of a Aphnopoma. There's not much known on them, like I said. You can't hardly find anything. So I'm going to try to get her here. Inside here is a hide for her. Can you? Are you filming it? Yes, yeah, pretty Close good. as you can. Not zoomed, but just hold the camera as close as you can. Come on, baby. That abdomen is tight. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. She does not want to go in there, but I'm not leaving this paper towel in there. Come on, baby. Come on. Well, she does not want to go in there. There's nothing in the world. Y'all can see how docile they are. An awesome beginner species, I would say, from my first time dealing with them. And y'all are seeing them for the first time here as well. Well, I'm getting threat posture. I'm getting threat posture. That's, uh, that's cool, but she's not... She's just threat posturing. Let me get my little thing. Try to move her off here and let her know she's got a good home here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Maybe she's not threat posturing. She's just grabbing. Yeah, she's just grabbing. No, she's striking. She's striking and fanging. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right after I get done saying it's a big, good beginner species. Um, let me offer her a rake. Right I don't know if she leaves right away, but it's getting hurt. Let's get it. She's trying to get that thing, right? Uh-huh. Come on, baby. Well, yeah, maybe she'll be happy to get a rake right in her. She, especially if she's grabbing. for though I want her to fill at home and everything to go right as it possibly can go let's just give her a little bit of time yeah I think I'll give her a little bit of time to do what she's got to do and I'm hoping that she finds this in here this hide because this hide is very special I'm going to be able to film the entire process for you guys the exact experience if I don't mess it as you can see I have an awesome chamber that I had built in here out of a styrofoam ball wrapped in uh, in uh, silicone caulk and then dipped in coconut fiber and uh, moss and put in here so she's got a natural cave I covered it up to, so the light will stay out hopefully she won't web the entire thing hopefully everything will go well and uh Y'all don't forget to let me know what you think.
These look absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yep, so the very first captive born babies. This is the very first ones of its kind in America and the very first captive born babies will be born right here. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. If that that is an Aphnopelma lanceolatum. Every other Aphnopelma that I know is bigger than this as adults, so I don't know, this might be they might they show you some kind of uh, signs of being a dwarf when a Pelma. I'm not sure about that. No, they wouldn't fall under dwarf because she's about four inches. Four inches right now, I'm guessing. From leg to leg, yeah. Four inches. Definitely not as big as the uh, Fauna Pelma Simani or Chalcotis. This is awesome, people. I'm very excited about this. I hope you all enjoyed. I want to wish you all peace, love, and happiness. Like always, like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, watch my older videos, because they are totally badass. MVP and coup. Edward Dundle out. Stay tuned.